What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog, going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7. You can see I'm running iOS 7.0.4 in this example here. There are a few steps you need to take first of all though. The first thing you want to do is to make sure your passcode lock is disabled. I always recommend that you do that. So you want to go to settings and then you want to go back out to passcode lock under general and then just turn off your passcode. So make sure you do that and then just tap turn off passcode, turn off. Put your passcode back in. It's gonna ask you something about iCloud Keychain. That's okay, you can keep on using it or remove it if you want to. I would keep on using it and then just put your passcode back on after the jailbreak. Now you wanna to go to evasion.com. This is running on a Mac. It works basically the same on Windows. Go to evasion.com though. See it there, you see the link for Mac OS 10 below. So you wanna click on that and that will take you to Mega's website where you can download the jailbreak, the evasion jailbreak for iOS 7. So you just click download there and it should eventually finish the download. It may take a little while, depending on your connection speed. You wanna drag the uh, file to your desktop, then double click it to open it up and you should see the Evasion 7 app eventually once it mounts. Now also remember to back up your device too before you proceed with this. Back up your iOS device if you wanna save anything just in case it, you lose it. You wanna go ahead and open up the Evasion 7 app. If you double click it and you get that error message, just right click and select open and then select open again uh, to bypass the restrictions on your computer. So it should open up Evasion 7. You notice my iPhone 5 is recognized running iOS 7. Make sure yours is recognized as well. Obviously you need to make sure your uh, iPhone or iPad is hooked up to your computer and then click jailbreak and then this will start the process and it's pretty much completely automated. You do have to do a, you know, a couple of things here. I'll show you how to do that, but I'm just gonna let you see this entire process from start to finish. It's injecting the Evasion app, and this takes a while, probably, I don't know, in the ball, ballpark of five to seven minutes. I have sped this up about two, two X uh, just to get through it so you guys aren't sitting here all day, and there you can see my iPhone 5, and uh, it is running right now. So let's just give it a few, and eventually you'll see the Evasion 7 uh, app icon appear on the uh, home screen of the iPhone, so just be patient. That's the, that's the key with this whole jailbreak thing is just patience. And there is Evasion 7. You'll see it automatically appear on your device. Just be patient. Don't touch anything yet until you are instructed to do so. And you'll st still see configuring system. Now it's at two of two. So again, this, this jailbreak kind of just caught everybody off, off, off guard, I guess. Uh, we kind of had a feeling that it was coming very soon. We had gotten some indications that, that was coming very soon, but we did not know exactly when. Uh, and I woke up this morning and was frankly quite shocked that it had dropped already. But anyway, it's here and we are making this tutorial for you guys and hopefully this will make it easy for you to use Evasion. Okay, so now we are rebooting. So in a second, you should see your iOS device reboot. See my iPhone reboot here. And it is running slowly but surely. In just a few seconds, it will reboot. You'll notice a black screen. Okay, there we go. So there's the black screen, and you see the uh, message on Evasion. It says, to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon. So obviously, once the device reboots completely, it's back up to the home screen. You can unlock your device and then tap the Evasion 7 icon. So this is gonna take a little bit to reboot. There's the Apple logo. And again, like I said, I've sped this up about, about two times just to make it a little faster for you guys so you're not sitting here waiting uh, longer than you have to to watch this process. So there we go. At our uh, lock screen here, I'll unlock the device. And there is the Evasion logo. All you do is just tap that. Okay. So now it is running. There it goes and it is rebooting again. Okay, modifying root FS, rebooting, done. So now the evasion jailbreak is actually done as far as running on your computer is concerned. So we can set that aside, you just hit exit, and now just focus solely on your iOS device. That's all we need to worry about from this point on because the jailbreak is now initiated and everything's ready to go. So I'm going to unlock the device here and you can just be patient. You don't have to tap anything. It should automatically reboot on its own. You'll see it, there it goes, there it rebooting on its own. 
and it, it's finishing up this process of jailbreaking your iPhone. Wow. I mean, it's just kind of shocking to actually say, yes, we have a jailbroken iOS 7 device right here in the flesh. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, you can start running all your favorite jailbreak apps and tweaks. Now, you will probably have to wait a while before all those apps and tweaks are updated to work with iOS 7 because, like I said, this is, was a surprise to pretty much everybody in the community and no one had a real good chance to get their stuff updated. But you can be rest assured that these updates will be coming. And now it's continuing with the boot. Eventually, we will be back up and you will see the Cydia app icon on your device. So now we're going to unlock again. Let's swipe over. And wow, there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Cydia right there on the home screen. Now we'll load that up. It's going to have to prepare file system. You remember this. If you've ever jailbroken before, you remember this process, the preparing file system. First time you run Cydia, it has to do all the cleanup and everything, get everything ready to go. And this takes a while. So uh, just be patient here. And again, I have sped this portion up as well. And this, this is really uh, pretty time consuming on this part. All right, so now it is rebooting. And once we come back up, we will actually be able to run Cydia for real on iOS 7. No jokes. Swipe over. There we go. Just run it. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is Cydia on iOS 7. So that is how you jailbreak your iOS 7 device using Evasion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.